Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Capricorn three month money and career prediction for April, May and June, 2022. Capricorn, let's see what energies we have starting in this month of April. I'm gonna pull three cards for the month of April to see what energies are coming in, what messages you have in your money and career, Capricorn. Thank you to each and every one of you for your subs, for commenting, for sharing your journeys. Capricorn, you have championed this channel from the get-go. So to each and every one of you, thank you so much. All right, April. Beautiful. The star and the nine of cups. Wow. Capricorn, this is a wish coming true nine of nine of cups this is something you have been wanting to do this is um something you believed in you have the star and it's this april in these two cards is really that reprieve that calm after the storm that calm after uh the obstacles the difficulties in pushing forward in different paths opening up opening up to a calmer energies opening up to lighter energies and the 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 nine of cups is really about that thing that you want to start that job you want to start that career you want to start that business you want to open I feel like a business you want to open something that you have believed in for a long time and now is a period of growth now is when it starts now it is when it is the beginning of that positive growth that positive energy that you're pushing forward something that you have really really wished for whatever it is for you it's different for for each and every one of us um you know, the, the Nine of Cups is about um, that comfortable feeling we have that everything is going to be okay. That comfortable feeling, that positive feeling, that that thing that we've wanted so much that we've manifested or that, you know, that promotion, that job, that business we wanted to open. I keep hearing that you might be wanting to start a business. Um, it's happening and it's happening because you've worked really hard at this and you're growing in a different path. You're growing in something different and it, it is a period after, you know, a period of challenges and you know that now, um, you're, you're letting go of that old self, letting go of that old way of thinking, moving into this positive energies. Give me one moment and put a little light on. It's getting a little dark and overcast here. There we go. Um, so yeah, it is a different way of thinking here in this month of April. Good for you. Good for you. And, and, and you're growing into that new way of thinking, that new approach. Yes, letting go of the old Four of Cups, not wanting to connect to that old way anymore. It is really a renewal in this month of May. Wow. Wow, Capricorn. It is so much a renewal. You're getting an offer. And, and that is your offer of that wish coming true. So it is either a, a financial offer or that loan from the bank you're getting, or or maybe that uh, job offer, that opportunity offer. It is money coming in, but it's you growing into a different way to build your career, a different way, a different approach to build your your career, your job orientation, uh, and and you you are have you have understood to let the past energies behind to let your ways that you had before in your job in your career in your business take it as it resonates to let it go you're no longer the same person and you're no longer building your career in the same way this is a true period of creativity and a true period of growth and successful in your 
dream in your project in that of which you wish for. Beautiful. Let's see if there's one more card in this month of April. Definitely starting something new and and disconnecting with the old. And you're bored with the old. You're done with the old. You don't even want to deal with the old anymore, Capricorn. You But you've realized now what you're moving into. And you know now how to do this. And you know you're entering a different... It's almost like entering a different time zone. And your approach is positive and your energies are positive, bringing in these offers, bringing in this opportunity, bringing in this, this energy to build your business. Um, and again, if it's not a business, if, if it's a job or a project or you're going back to school, right? Take it as it resonates in your journey. But uh, this is definitely an offer, a financial offer. And, uh, can be a job offer, but take it as it resonates. You do have, it almost seems like um, Seven of Cups. There are several options, several opportunities. A bit of confusion there because I feel like all of a sudden you're bouncing on a different vibe and there are things happening. There's action happening around you. Connections are happening because your approach is different and you're putting out something different. So what is coming in? The karma coming in and the synchronicities coming in, uh, sort of connecting the dots in a different way, in a very positive way. Bringing in a little confusion here, right? Um, uh, maybe you have several offers and maybe you are um, connecting to different projects, different people, putting ideas out there, having conversations and really getting back into the swing of things in a different way, in a different vibe. And um, you're, th this new energy is giving you a little confusion because you... Capricorn, you have been stuck in a mode for such a long time and it has been difficult. And I know sometimes I repeat myself, but you know, there have been obstacles along the way and everybody has had journeys that have been complicated to find solutions and, you know, different ways to make money and, 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 and shift on different paths, but finding that energy and finding that clarity to understand when it's time to make those decisions. Um, some people say I repeat myself a little too much, but, but it is about the approach in your professional life. And, you know, these are messages I find interesting and important and some people don't resonate and that's perfectly fine. There are a whole bunch of other, um, uh, uh tarot readers out there for everyone right and not everybody resonates for with this these and that's perfectly fine there's so much out there to go and find right and so but here in uh, capricorn you are i i think you're really excited about these new opportunities but it's almost something new because you've been blocked for such a long time that now it's a little almost like overwhelming not that you have a million offers, but you have a million ideas going on, uh, reconnecting with people or connecting with people, connecting with different um, different sectors, professional sectors. And, and I think that your mind is sort of bubbling with new ideas. Keep hearing, opening that business, opening that business, however it resonates for you. All right, let's see what we have in the month of May 2022 for Money and Career. Ah, Capricorns. This is a beautiful month of April. I love this Ace of Pentacles, this this new opportunity starting. It is a beginning. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful beginning here. Um, and it's also, you know, finding your balance and but abundance coming in, finances coming in. Hopefully, you know, finances for yes. May, two of wands, of finances to prepare, to open up to the world. You're opening up, you are planning and opening up to um, 
you you might be opening up to international you might be wanting to travel i know it's not always the the perfect timing to travel especially right now but you're definitely planning the future choosing that path deciding on that path having clear clarity on that path and discovering a new world discovering a new environment discovering new people and you're choosing you have chosen in this uh, in this month of april you have different opportunities and you're clearly starting new job, new business, new project, take it as it resonates. There's money coming in there in something you really wish for. And in the month of May, you are planning, planning ahead, planning the future, planning this job, planning a move. You can be moving, doesn't have to be, but you're certainly opening up now to different people, opening up to opportunities letting the fresh air come in and really planning your future good for you capricorn um it is organizing this new job organizing this new project whatever it is for you too many cards am i taking this okay all right and uh yes you've worked hard i think you know capricorn you are planning you have planned out you have saved your money you but you're very careful in your approach step by step you plan you strategize you organize yourself financially almost like spreadsheets and nothing is done hazardly nothing is done nothing is random with capricorn everything is organized and you work diligently methodically step by step to make this happen but at the same time wide open to the world wide open to these new possibilities and this new project here offer you are on a completely new journey the fool absolutely fabulous offer and entering this new new zone believing in yourself and you're you're really believing in this you it has been prepared meticulously prepared but and and really you you took your time on this and you're taking your time on this is not something you're doing overnight or you know and you but now you believe in it and now you're ready with it and now you're ready to to um you trust yourself on this. You trust yourself. You trust your. You trust others in this path, in this business, and you are going for it. Good for you. Action forward in this month of May. Um, the 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 Knight of Pentacles is slow, slow in his approach. It's action forward, but very step by step, very thought out, slow, strategic you know, not, you're just making sure you dot the I's and cross the T's and don't rush into it. And then I think that once you believe in this, once you, once you make that decision and you know, you're knowing you're going on this path, you're knowing you're starting, you know, you're starting this business, you know, this is for you, your action forward. And I really think you could be moving. Doesn't have to be, not for everyone, but you can be moving, moving cities, moving towns, moving countries. Um, you're definitely embarking on a complete new journey that is fulfilling. Um, it's fulfilling. You trust yourself in doing this. You know that it is freedom for you. It is a new start. It is being independent, deciding to have that freedom of choice, deciding to have that freedom of your own time, your own schedule. Maybe it's that. That's why you want to start your own business. That's why you want to um, do your own thing, be your own boss. I really think that that is what you were looking for, Capricorn, not to have to follow, but to lead and really be your own boss. Really enjoying um, more spontaneity and more freedom in the job. Um, and that is bringing um, emotional stability. It's also very emotional for you uh, starting this new business job opportunity. It's something bringing balance, but it's also, you, you can be in um, business of, uh, guidance, sharing, you know, being there for others, listening to others and helping others out. But I really don't, I don't think so. I'll, I'll pull more cards. But um, for me, it's a business. I don't know why I keep feeling opening up a 
business, uh, contracts, clients, something more, not corporate, but yeah, it's something more official, you know, that, yes, the, um, don't be afraid of this Eight of Swords. Um, this Eight of Swords is preceding, you know, this, um, this uh, Queen of Cups where, you know, yes, you were stuck for a while. Yes, there was a lot of hesitation. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I embark on this new journey? I'm not ready. Am I ready? Can I do this? Do I have the finances? Is it time? I don't know if I can hack this, right? All this hesitation. That is why you took it slow, step by step, maneuvering step by step, figuring things out checking it out, making sure you were ready, making sure you could put everything on your side to make it happen. And you're getting out of this eight of swords, this mental blockage that you felt you were stuck and you felt you, you know, you, you, you had to have that same career forever and ever. You weren't, you weren't able to find that answer you needed to find clarity to shift right? To transition to that thing that you've been wanting to do. Again, opening up that business. That's what I'm, that's what I have in my mind. But of course, it doesn't have to be that. It can be a new job. It can be a new career. It doesn't have to be you opening your business. All right. A lot of cards here. And we have in this month of June, um, Capricorn, I just want to move these cards just a little bit. There we go. In this month of June, you have the world. Beautiful, successful, pulling it all together, making it happen in this month of June, you have this sort of sense of accomplishment and confidence and again, boosting your confidence uh, because you pulled it all together. You didn't think you were gonna be able to do it. It has been so much, so many obstacles, so much hesitation. Is it time, is it not right? Uh, all along the way, the past, I wanna say the past couple of years, right? Where Capricorn has been in a mode where you knew you had to change. You knew you were going to change options, careers, uh, trajectories, journeys, past, take it as it resonates, right? But you, you, you weren't there yet, or you didn't see clear. You didn't know exactly how you were going to do it yet. And here you are in the month of April, embarking on this new journey in such a new energy in such a positive and confident energy because it is successful the world is successful and but it's successful because you pulled it all together and you made it happen queen of pentacles transforming Capricorn, this is you transforming an idea into reality, your dream business, putting your product out there, putting your services out there. I almost feel like this is a business of consulting, consulting, uh, helping others or being there for others. Consulting can be anything, right? It can be consulting and management, consulting, um, uh, HR consulting or, um, PR consulting. I don't know why I'm hearing that uh, PR consulting, but still opening up your firm, your business as a consultant in something in a corporate world. Again, not for everybody, you know, does not connect to everybody, but I really feel like there's a sense of, I did it. I'm proud. This is me. This is my thing. This is my idea. This I have. I'm starting. I'm ready. I'm. I'm. I'm very confident, and it's successful. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, making it happen. This dream is happening. Capricorn and the Star card. Really, in that period of growth, growing, mature. Uh, maturing and, and having much more experience in your approach to building a business or, or trusting yourself 
in your talent and what you are bringing to the table. Nine of Wands, being a little freaked out, that's normal. If we're starting a business and we're jumping in there and we believe in ourselves, and, you know, it is taking risks. Of course it takes risks. Of course any business is risk-taking, but that is... That is the excitement about it. That is the the pride of it, right? Um, uh, believing in oneself. And, and there's nothing better than pulling it all together and making it happen, especially something that we've thought out, something that we've been wanting to do for a while. Um, it is something that you build by built by yourself. And it's you're, you're, you're taking bold actions because it's something you truly believe in and you're making happen. It's successful and, and it's giving you a whole new dynamic in your professional world. Good for you, Capricorn. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful reading. Um, and you're keeping your sense of control, Four of Pentacles. You're not um, all over the place. Obviously, Capricorn is not all over the place. Everything's well thought out. Everything is um, meticulously uh, organized, right? It's not something you're not, you don't do out of the blue, right? Um, it's not, nothing is random. It is financially well thought out, keeping financial control, but also doing it yourself. I feel like you have had control from the get-go on this trajectory, on this business that you have boldly created. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, making it happen. These are both um, energies of accomplishing and having an energy of um, trust, self-confidence, and accomplishing and pride in accomplishing and bringing it all together. And, and they're bold, bold and creative, right? She she is uh, someone that brings things together, has the, the confidence to um, to make things happen. And the, the Queen of Wands is, you know, someone very um, entrepreneurial and she is determined uh, passionate in what she does and passionate and um, uh, very energetic in her choices and in her power to make things happen. So you are on a beautiful uh, path here of positive energy and powerful creative energy to start this business, whatever it is. Comment down below if you connect with any of these energies. Now, I say consultant. It doesn't have to be that. It can be anything, but you are in a period of growth and you are in a period of trusting yourself and building your own, being your own boss, being in control of your finances and of your career. You're in control Capricorn. Absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to see if there are a few more cards that want to come out on this powerful trajectory. Five of five of wands. Don't let the petty conflicts pull you down. There are always petty conflicts. There are always day-to-day -day conflicts in anything that can happen. Um, it, is, it is something that you know, you have to battle with, yes, but it is Six of Pentacles so rewarding to be in a different space in your mind, to be in a space where it's fair, it's fair share, it's equal um, equal responsibilities, and it's ab about generosity around you, financial generosity around you, you are financial, financially generous. Um, six, of, six of Pentacles is being there for others and being generous with others, kind. And um, it's not charity. It can be charity. Oh, maybe you're doing charity work. Maybe you're doing charity work. Maybe you do have, maybe you are starting a business uh, consulting on um, PR, charity work, um, you know, helping businesses help others, uh, 
you know, being the helping businesses in social justice, helping businesses in HR, being there, finding ideas. This is what I'm, this is a, these are the messages I'm getting where you, you are there to open, uh, open the possibilities for others to explain to others and to make them understand how they can help others. So maybe you all are a consultant to help other businesses um, open up to charities, to um, um, causes uh, and um, that they can uh, associate with and help out. Very interesting, very interesting, because I feel like that is an everyday uh, challenge to make these corporations understand how they can help and how we can move forward. And maybe you are doing that. Good for you, Capricorn. And if it's not that, you know, it, it, it's okay. <laughs> but that's what I, it's, yeah, helping corporations, um, open up and choose uh, causes and situations they can help out with for people, right? And being generous with others. There are conflicts. There's so many conflicts in the world right now. And there's so many things there can be done in the world right now that kudos to you if you're doing that, honestly. Kudos to you. Bravo. Bravo. Seven of, seven of cups. A lot, a, a lot going on, and but but I feel like it, a lot going on, but choices to be made, directions to go, and maybe there are a lot of people involved, and maybe there are a lot of there's a lot of discussions, a lot of offers, a lot of. But if you are in something like that, like social justice or opening up corporations to different causes and explaining and offering and sort of connecting people together, right? That is a lot going on. And that can be a lot of confusion, a lot of disillusion. That's okay because you have to sort everything out and to find, uh, you know, those uh, to connect people on the right path, on the right causes. And you have the devil. There you are, Capricorn, in all your glory. You are there. You are in that um, moment in time where you're detaching yourself from uh, that trajectory you had before you, where you thought, you know, that was it, that was it, that was your career, that was your passion. And, you know, you weren't going to let go of that. And that was sort of, you know, your path and you're letting go of that where, you know, you thought you were stuck. Um, I think, yeah. I think you are on a beautiful new path, Capricorn. Beautiful. Let me see if there's one last message for the road. One last message for the road, Capricorn. In this three month prediction, money and career reading. The High Priestess. Yes, follow your intuition, but also you're in a you're in a different space right now, right? You're in a different, a higher state of awareness, of clarity, because you see clear on your path, because you have made your choices, or if you haven't yet, you are making them because it is something that is really close to your heart that you've been wanting to do for a while. So you're very clear on your choices and you're following your heart. You're following your intuition, guided by that really, really, that that clarity you have right now on your path. Wonderful reading, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so much for uh, commenting, for sharing your journeys. Um, and again, if you resonate, you resonate. If you don't, that is perfectly fine. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subbing. Thank you for all your beautiful likes and comments. If you haven't subbed yet, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell. That's very important. And if you have already, thank you so much for following this channel and championing this channel almost to 10K. That is how I find my energy while you 
when you share your journeys, that is how I find my energies to continue doing these readings. If you've never uh, watched any of my readings before, <clears throat> I do try to put um, money and career weekly readings up uh, and uh, they are up every weekend so I should start uploading them tomorrow uh, for next week. Uh, Capricorn is on the list uh, so uh, circle back around this weekend uh, for next week, uh, next week uh, money and career readings. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.